بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم پروفیسر حسن اینڈ یو آر واچنگ مائی چینل پروفیسر حسن ہمایوں ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اے ویری امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک فار آل دا پیپرز آف اسٹیٹسٹکس اینڈ دیٹ از نان پیرامیٹرک ٹیسٹس بفور اسٹارٹنگ ٹوڈے از وائٹل اینڈ امپورٹنٹ لیکچر آئی ریکویسٹ ایوری ون سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک اینڈ شیئر مائی چینل اینڈ کلک دا بیل آئیکن فار دا نوٹیفیکیشنز آف دا نیکسٹ امپورٹنٹ ویڈیوز لیٹ اسٹارٹ فسٹ آف آل آئی ول ٹیل یو وٹ آر دا ازمشنز آف ٹی ٹیسٹ وچ از اے پیرامیٹرک ون نمبر ون از دا سامپل وچ وی ہیو چوزن فرام دا پاپولیشن دیٹ شوڈ بی رینڈم اور our selection should not be involved in it it should be selected randomly then the second property the second assumption is that the population from which we have chosen a sample that should be normal then the third assumption is that if we have two samples these should be taken these should be chosen randomly and the populations from which we have taken these should be normal and with which have unknown equal variances these are the three assumptions of the parametric t test now i will come on the non parametric in non parametric tests we have not the assumption of normality it is also called distribution free test the samples distribution the sample which we have selected which we have chosen its population should not be normal that is called distribution free test and these are all non parametric tests then the question very important for the written test and the interview also which is more efficient actually parametric tests are more efficient than the non parametric tests and then the question is why it is more efficient because in parametric tests we do the hypothesis we make the hypothesis we do the testing of mean actually and mean is based on all the values of the given set all the values of x whereas in non parametric tests we do the hypothesis we do the testing of median and median is a positional average it it, it is based on the central value actually that's why parametric tests are always more efficient more efficient than the non parametric tests then the first one is sign test sign test is the first non parametric test which is used for testing the median the hypothesis is probability of plus sign is equal to probability of minus sign is equal to 1 over 2 that test is based on the signs we have the value which is given median's value for example the value of median is 15 <clears throat> all the values of the given set which are equal to 15 that will take the value 0 that will be discarded actually and all the values which are more than 15 i will do 16 for example the value is 16 16 minus 15 is plus plus sign will be given if a value is less than 15 minus and sign will be awarded to this much for example if we have the signs like this much now in sign test we give we allocate the signs to the values according to the median value if the value is equal to median that will be discarded if i have 18 18 minus 15 is plus 3 i will do plus 14 is a value 14 minus 15 is minus minus will be allotted and these are the signs actually and its statistic is x a very important question for all for all the written test of statistics in sign test x is the test statistic which shows the less frequent signs now you can notice plus is how many times four times 1 2 3 4 5 minus is five times it means four will be x and how, what will you calculate you will calculate the probability of x less than equal to 4 with the help of binomial distribution what did you learn in sign test we do the testing of median m is equal to m not a specific value of median then the hypothesis probability of plus sign is equal to probability of minus sign is equal to 1 over 2 and what do you do actually we have a calculated value of median a value which is more than median that will take plus sign a value which is less than median that take minus sign its statistic is x we take the less frequent signs and probability is calculated less than equal to 4 if x is 2 that will be less than equal to 2 with the help of the binomial distribution 
देन द नेक्स्ट वन इज इट इज वन सैंपल वी हैव साइंटेस फॉर वन सैंपल एंड फॉर द टू सैंपल इन द टू सैंपल वी डू नॉट कंसिडर द मैग्नीट्यूड बट इन विलकोक्सन साइंड रैंक टेस्ट इट इज द इम्प्रूवड वर्जन ऑफ द साइन टेस्ट इन विच वी हैव द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑल्सो विलकोक्सन रैंक सम टेस्ट इन विलकोक्सन रैंक सम टेस्ट इट इज़ अ नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट विच इज़ यूज फॉर द इंडिपेंडेंट सैम्पल्स टू इंडिपेंडेंट सैम्पल्स साइज ऑफ द टू सैम्पल्स कैन बी सेम कैन बी इक्वल और डिफरेंट ऑल्सो इन विलकोक्सन साइन रैंक टेस्ट वी डू इट वी परफॉर्म इट फॉर द पेयर डिफरेंसिस एंड मान विटनी यू टेस्ट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इट इज़ द ऑल्टरनेटिव टू द टी टेस्ट फॉर द टू इंडिपेंडेंट सैम्पल्स इट इज द नॉन पैरामेट्रिक टेस्ट and then the kruskal valley's test it is a generalization of the <clears throat> man witney u test kruskal valley's h test is used for three medians and more than three medians it is a generalization of the man witney u test and it is the alternate to the one way analysis of variance and if in the exam they ask <clears throat> what is the alternate to the two way analysis of variance that is friedman's test then kolmogorov smirnov test it is used for comparing the distribution functions of the two distributions a very important one then run test run test is used for checking the randomness a very important one assalam alaikum